I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We you still around? Going with the flow? I could be your floor exit. Or your front door check in the vortexes you had it closed and your dad a cold, they had it closed, but daddy's home. Dearly beloved, sincerely departed, I'm back with another one, got my guy with me. Showtime, that's Peter, nobody that knows bodies, bah! Alright, so what we doing, man? Well, talk, talk, talk to me. Talk, talk, what up, what up, what up? Well, first of all, you know, salute to everybody out there. Thanks. Um, before we even get in, I want, I want you, I want your opinions, your thoughts. Salute to everybody out there going through this tough time. Mm. Um, all the folks that are essential workers, all the people that's working from home. You know, it's, it's difficult right now. It's a different time. Yeah. Because we've never really seen nothing like this before. Nah. I mean, like, nah. We ain't never seen the point to where people are scared to go outside. You got people that are getting sick. You got people that are actually literally dying from what's going on right now. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of stress going on. And then you got people who've lost jobs. You got people who are on... Um, Going through it right now, it's a tough time in the world, you know what I mean? And um, it's very few things that we can look to because there's battle leagues ain't really running like that. Mm -hmm. Got a couple of people battling online. Quarantines. Here and there, quarantines. <laughs> you got our IG Battle League, which mm -hmm. Hollow Don started. Um, that they've actually got, you know, some pretty, uh, a lot of up and coming new cats that ain't really battle like that. Right. Um, you got DNA versus John John and Don happening. People are trying their best mm -hmm. to keep things going. But, you know, it's, a t it's one of them times where it's like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, you, and then you have even artists that are dumbing down their prices. To, I've seen, I think Twerk was battling for like $100 online or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, oh, no. Yeah. <coughs> I, I, I mean, it is what it is. But a, a bright spot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tell, 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 let's talk, talk about the bright spot, man. Well, you know, power to the people. We back to do maintenance. Yeah, 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 yeah. We back mm -hmm. like crack in the game, man. Um, Loaded Lux uh, had a, a basically, I think it was like a one-on-one -on -one or mm -hmm. like a little bit of a, it was like kind of like a TED Talk, but it wasn't really a TED Talk, but it was on 15 Minutes of Fame. Um, it's about an hour-long interview um, between Dr. Uh, Edmund, or Edmund, Edmund, excuse me if we jack your name. And it was kind of them, you know, him and Loaded Lux <laughs> literally having a meeting of the minds. Well, well, first of all, salute to... Uh, Columbia University, you know yeah. what I'm saying, for, for, for facilitating it. Mm -hmm. uh, Nikki Knowledge for putting it together and actually hosting it. You know, yeah. she um, does a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, she does a lot of work, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, I think it's very important, you know, and here's the thing, you know, if you're one of those that's like F this, F that, my mind is not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not designed to ingest what's about to come out right now. You can just pause this video and catch me on the next one. I'll be back on some hood good shit in a second. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, also, you know, we, um, may rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. It's Thanks. a year since he's passed away. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, uh, and, and that was another rough thing that our society dealt with. But what I wanted to say is this: um, her bringing these individuals together mm -hmm. to have that conversation, and I liked, I liked the onset. I liked how it began. I liked the whole conversation. But uh, just tell me what was your thoughts from like the outside, like you know what I'm saying, from your perspective. I mean, overall, the, it's kind of a meeting of the minds, and the way I think that uh, the uh, the doctor, he's like a a, a high esteemed scientist, um, but he loves battle rap, mm -hmm. and so with the way that he teaches and his approach, you can tell he uses a lot of those battle rap tactics. Cause he's like a, he's like a it seems like he was a motivational type speaker, and mm -hmm. Lux, who is you know uh, to us is like the pin you know the pin god you know what I'm saying like he, he's up there he's a legend for us and so basically it's it's more like a, a conversation with like Shakespeare or or Socrates or Aristotle but you know right, asking right, them right, right, why right. or how you know you do what you do. But instead of, you know, just asking, you know, like, oh, I wonder how. No, we're physically talking to him right now. It's kind of like giving flowers while you can still type, uh, kind of smell. So basically, it was kind of like the meeting of the minds. You can kind of mm -hmm. tell that, you know, he has the battle rap, like, motivational speaking style. Um, like, it, it's more like you can give the flowers while you can still smell them type right, conversation. Right, right. So, um, you know, it, and it, you can kind of tell that the dynamic was... Uh, the doctor was a fan of, of Lux, just as well as uh, Nikki Knowledge was a fan 
of Lux, mm -hmm. and they were more like, like, well, well, how do you, you know, do what you do? And so, right. I, uh, Dr. Edmund basically was kind of rewording the questions, right, 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 because he gave references of how Lux writes and how it's different versions of Lux that you're seeing. Right. Why are we getting those different Luxes? Exactly. And um, basically, Lux was uh, in, in, you know, in a full summary, Lux was saying that. It all depends on the type of mindset that he was in at that right, time. Right, right. Each time that you see Lux, he is in a different mode. The real reason why there isn't a, a, a gray hoodie Lux is because at that time, that gray hoodie was all he could probably, you know, that 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 he wore that hoodie, right, right, you know, right. all the time through the hood. So at that time, he had, he was in a different mind frame. It was more like kill, kill, kill type mode. I gotta eat. I gotta do what I gotta do. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Whereas now. When he came back and he was more like the preacher Lux and it seemed like he was more preaching because, hey, man, I have been on this journey. I've been where you was at. I learned these things. It's just really insightful. Um, if you ask me, you know, what I'm saying? I, I honestly think y'all should take a peep. You know, it, it don't even got that many views like that. It's just if y'all really want to see how how or the, the mind of somebody that we consider a legend. Right. And I think that Dr. Emden, you know, what I'm saying he he if you. Get, you can get lost in some of what he's saying because he speaks very fast, but he speaks very intellectually at the mm -hmm. same time. Yeah. But I think that it's important as battle rap fans to sometimes really, really gain some knowledge from people who are looking at things from an outside perspective mm -hmm. because we can easily get lost in all of the gun bars. My gun like this is mm -hmm. clicking like that and a bow, bow, bow. We, oh, we, that's the era that we're in now, yeah. right? But when you take a talent like Loaded Lux, right, and you remove him from eat I mean move him from every era from the Lions Den DVD era from mm -hmm. the initial smack era battling and um you know um loaded I mean battling against murder mook I've mm -hmm. been between more jet planes and the metal lands mm -hmm. and all of that those those from the streets to where he's at now he's been able to elevate on every single level yep. even now up to battling against uh a verb on a big stage, people mm -hmm. said that well, he wasn't going to be able to do that. He was able to do it there, yeah. and he was able to come back and battle in a two on two. And I think that these major markets and these big platforms, like a Columbia University or like Nicki Knowledge breaking down his bars at Harvard University, like right. that's huge. Oh, you know? yeah, y'all gotta watch that because she broke down uh, Lux's Funk Flex freestyle. Mm -hmm. Just the first three, four lines. I was in the area. Just figured that's why I swing by like girls curious. Mm -hmm. She's like, it's a double line. like it it was yeah, it's if it, yeah, just like Vada said, if you ain't if you're not into the whole, you know, intellectual type talk, you can come back. But this is kind of like a, a mental 30 for 30, if you ask me. It is. It you is. know what I mean? And that's the reason why I just don't want to rush through this. Because yeah. I feel like the content and stay on that thought real quick. Mm -hmm. Um I feel like the content and what is being said, mm -hmm. it takes you away from the average incompetence or the average negligence of what we do. Because when you hear these bars and you hear where he's coming from, where Dr. M is talking about as far as what his questions to Loaded Lux mm -hmm. and how Loaded Lux became who he was, I think it's very, I think it's critical. And I, and I did, like I said, it was an hour long and that's mm -hmm. just part one. Mm -hmm. So I know this is about to be... <laughs> I know this is about to go to the end of the coronavirus. It's, you know yeah, but yeah. it's about to be a good. It's probably two. It's probably two parts. I would hope it's only two parts. Twelve parts. No, it ain't. <laughs> you ain't gonna have more parts, parts. than trapped in the closet. <laughs> Eighteen parts. Part twenty-five, beloved. I mean, again, speaking of beloved, he even um, uh, Dr. Emden and, uh, and Nikki Knowledge, they even asked him. They was like, well, even in the way that you speak, you know, what I'm saying for you to be a battler. Um, why is it that why is it that you still talk like beloved? Like why do you still call people beloved? Why do you still call loved some, ones, loved yeah, one right. king? You call them an opera king because in the same mix, you know, even though I am telling you how much of a better rapper I am than you, how much of a skill that I have better than you, and I'm trying to demean you and I'm trying to poke at you, but I will never take the fact that you're a man. Mm -hmm. So I'm always gonna. Talk to your soul, but at least I'm gonna keep you know let you keep holding your pride. I'm still gonna mm -hmm. call you king. That's why we call you beloved. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh damn, man. Uh, he's like still, he's still, he's food for thought, my nigga. Like, still oh, doing. he's still, he's still doing that. Yeah, and and it's and it's just 
you know, it's, it's it, and then just going back on how it's like a 30 for 30, it, he, they were not breaking down the battles per se, but the different battles and the different mindset that Lux was in. And it, it's just different where now it's like, oh, well, what was you thinking? Like, if you would have asked, like, you know, like New Jersey Twerk, Rum Nitty, or Geechee Gotti, or any of uh, Tay Rock, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, Tay Rock may be a little bit different because yeah. you could do a 30 for 30 with Tay Rock because they were like, all right, well, when you battled Charlie Clips the first time, how did you feel? Were you nervous? Because right. you got body. Mm -hmm. How did you feel coming back around to battle him again? You know what I'm saying? That's the 30th. Alright, so after Charlie Clips, what made you think, hey, I think I'm 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 up there to top tier level where I know I can be the goods and the hollow the dime. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You could do that with rock, you could do that with surf. And I think that that Uncle Rod, you might be tapping on to something, like touching something. Like it that, that it's getting good. It sounds like a good idea. But with Lux, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 not about the battle. It's not about the words you were saying in the battle. It's literally the lead up to it. Mm -hmm. What made you write this way, or, or you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would. The question I was going to ask, Lux, the question I would have asked Lux is, all right. So when you and Hollow got together, like, what made y'all go into the mountains? Like, mm -hmm. like what made y'all clear? You know what I'm saying? Do all of that? Because literally them doing that, they already. Changed the game. It's mutation. Like you know what I'm saying. Like like because of that, that became a trend in battle. You know, mm -hmm. Like what what does it? What do you do that makes you do what you do that makes us go, damn, he's good at this. Is, I, did I ask that question correctly? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I asked that question correctly. When I mean, what you think? It's it's, it's the the elevation. Like the thing about with loaded lux, right? With what he does, I, I, I respected the part where you said it's not about the battle; it's about everything that it is. He elevates the culture every time. Every you know time. what I'm saying? Like there was a bunch of people who freestyled on Hot 97. There's only one Loaded Lux freestyle on Hot 97. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of people who did a bunch of different things, but there's only one person to do what he's done as far as his elevation, as far as he's taking the game to the next level. You can feel like, oh, he won or he lost or whatever battle. You can feel however you want, mm -hmm. but he's definitely going to leave his imprint on the game, and I think that that's something that can't be questioned. When he's done doing this, he will go down as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, mm -hmm. individual battle rap MC. He's like, we're, he's, he's literally a living legend, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I like that uh, you could have somebody that was as prestigious as Dr. Emden being able to still be a hip hop battle rap fan yeah. at the same time. Because a lot of people, once they get far removed, they're like, what? I'm not checking for that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not, not checking uh, for that. That's nigger music. You right, know, right, stuff right, like right, that. Right, right, right. But the thing is, uh, and, and yeah, you are right. He does mm -hmm. talk fast. But uh, to me, he just reminded me of my, uh, my uh, uh, African American uh, right. history teacher. Like, he was that, he's so insightful about. The roots, because he was going with, um, you know, why do you do what you do is because of the fact that you're already tapped in mm -hmm. into the hip hop roots. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know uh, where it came from, where, like, he literally brought it from just you spitting to somebody in front of you. He brought it all the way to the point of African tapping of, of, of drums and stuff like that to bring them all the way up to this cadence to bring them where you are, where you are. I was like, Damn, that was deep. I mean, you know, uh, Nikki Dollar even stood up and got hyped because she was like, you know, right, right, right. and that is where Dr. Emden, at, I, I swear I'm jacking his name up, but, uh, but that's where the doctor is, um, where I can see where he's considered the loaded lux of his, of his, in his era because he had everybody in there going, yo, you right, like, because he was blowing minds, and that's what lux does, because, and, and he thing he, and he tells people, uh, he said, because if you watch it the first time, if you watch it the second time, it's like right. fine wine. It's more to find. So, we tell him, of course. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know. I, if y'all, if you, listen, it's quarantine, right? Y'all ain't right. got nothing else to do. Listen, you, if you ain't got nothing else to do, you just want to, you know, have your mind blown real quick. Mm -hmm. I'll definitely tell y'all, take a peek, man. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely worth a watch. I mean, why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? It's, it, and I think it's very... It is very noteworthy, and like I said, once again, salute to Nikki Knowledge for putting this together. Mm. You know what I'm saying? These are these, these these type of conversations they don't happen every day nope. at Ivy League universities. You know nope. what I'm saying? Like this is very big. But uh, 
we'll, 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 we'll definitely continue to watch this one as it progresses, you know what I mean? And, um, gang, gang.